Hey guys, Chad Byram here with Midlife Classic Cars. I'm here with my friend Bruce from Rusty Speed Shop here in the UK. Uh, specializes in American cars uh, in the UK here. Uh, Bruce was nice enough to bring me out to the Haynes Museum and give me a tour around. This video is basically going to be a walking tour. Uh, when you get a chance, check out my website, midlifeclassiccars.com, and you can see all the Haynes books that we stock. And actually, check out Rusty Speed Shop at a lot of the car shows out here. He actually has a fair amount of the Haynes shop manuals and books for sale at the shows here. Um, I really appreciate you giving me a tour around. No problem. Yeah, it's, 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 pretty, it. it's pretty impressive. You're going to see cars that are on the restoration level that I prefer. They're cars that look like they've been driven. They're cars that have paint chips in them. Um, right now, they currently have one of Mark Weber's old F1 cars from Red Bull. Um, some other neat cars I viewed here were some Porsche 356. That was in a pretty rough shape, yeah. it, but it looked, dry, it looked dry, like a driver. Um, a Countach was pretty cool, but some of the oddballs, the uh, the, the MGs uh, that we didn't get in the States were here. It was really cool to see. Uh, what'd you enjoy, Bruce? You've got the Bricklin SB1, Oh, the Bricklin? You know? Yeah, anything Bricklin's... American for me. Obviously. Yeah, anything American Bruce loves. And I, I, of course, love European cars. I'll have Heelys and BMWs 2002s and VWs. Um, yeah, a lot of the cars here are just absolutely phenomenal to check out. Uh, the museum's very clean, uh, nice lobby, nice gift shop. Um, place is great. I really recommend if you get the chance to come out here and take a tour. Um, it was fairly cheap to see, cheaper than most American museums that you go to. Uh, so it, For 14 UK pounds. 14 UK, each, so that's, yeah, yeah that's, that's not bad. You know, I've been to some where it's, it's over 30 US dollars to get into a museum. Um, I would say the one difference is, like in America, we over-restore cars nicer than they came off the showroom floor. Here, the cars, like I was saying before, are more drivers, uh, which is, is great. Um, also, check out an old blog post I did from years ago when I came here, and you gave me a tour of the Morgan factory. Yeah, yeah and I have a lot of great fit photos from the Morgan factory, so if you get a chance, check out that blog post on the website. Uh, anything else you think of? Let's uh, get a few bikes in there as well. Yeah, yeah, a few motorcycles. Yeah, yeah. The, um, the Circle Dirt Track was more popular here than I, I ever realized. So they have a, a lot of bikes dedicated of to it. Speedway, speedway bikes. Yeah, yeah. speedway Big bikes. Thing, yeah, most towns had a speedway. So. Really? Yeah. Okay, so that's that's really cool to check out. Um, so now there's actually a go-kart track over here. Bruce and I are going to go... Uh, play a little bumper cars i don't know how much racing is actually going to be going on <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah enjoy it i hope you enjoy the video it's going to be a nice little walk through and uh check out the website midlife classic cars and rusty speed shop take care